What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique. I'm a classical pianist. And as you might hear, I'm a little bit sick. <coughs> Sorry I didn't post anything the last weeks. It was just too much. However, I was planning to do a little Ghibli challenge. A couple of weeks ago, I did a little, you know, live stream, sight reading and chill <laughs> with Ghibli stuff. And there I asked you to send me over like some pieces that I didn't have in this little Ghibli collection that I was using. So Fernando Casalato sent me over uh, Howl's Moving Castle by Kyle Landry. And just side reading it, I failed a lot. So I thought, you know what? I could do a one minute, 10 minute, one hour challenge out of it. And here we are today. <laughs> so before we get started, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You have one minute, 10 minute and one hour to practice a piece that you have never played before. Well, in this case, I, I did play it, but like I just side read it in the in the live stream, so I didn't I don't really have something in my head, so I guess it still counts. <laughs> and after every practicing session, you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. So without further ado, let's get started today with Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, like always, I start to practice slowly. I do a little bit of sight reading until the part where I think I can play in one hour and do some fingerings here and there. Actually, I have to say, Howl's Moving Castle was a weird movie. I don't know, how do you see that movie in comparison to the other Ghibli movies? I'm a huge fan of Spirited Away and uh, Kiki's Delivery Service and also others, but Howl's Moving Castle was just a little bit strange. I mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> Also because I saw all the other Ghibli movies in Chinese, the German dub in anime movies and series is just awkward. <laughs> you do you normally watch anime in Japanese with the subtitles or do you watch it in another language Thank you. 
Okay, like always, let's talk a little bit about what I was doing at the piano here. <laughs> As you know, I'm a classical trained pianist, meaning I'm more used to like classical rhythms, classical harmonies and stuff. And in this case, there were some rhythms that I was just not used to, especially in the in the left hand. So it was a little bit offbeat here and there. So I, I had to get used to this first. <laughs> Also, there are some harmonies that I don't find so much in the classical pieces, in the classical repertoire that I'm usually playing, so it was a little bit difficult for me to side read everything and to be sure that I'm grabbing the right notes, because, you know, when the harmonies are different, the grip on the piano is a little bit different, so, yeah, it was, it was quite a challenge in the beginning. <laughs> At some point I started to practice with metronome. I mean this piece is a very romantic piece and you want to play with emotions and what people very often mistake with playing with emotions is to play with a lot of rubato. It's not wrong to play with rubato, however, even in the very romantic era it was important to first get the shape and the form of the piece by using the metronome, so keeping the right pulse and right rhythm before you add all these you know, timing stuff with rubato and, and so on. <laughs> Okay, as it was kind of hard for me to, you know, do all these jumps in the left hand and hitting the right notes by still watching the scores, uh, I decided to analyze the harmonies so I'm getting a better overview of this piece and what I have to grab with my left hand. This is for me very very helpful. I can understand though that if you are not so familiar with all the music theory that this is just going to add up more confusion instead of you know helping you. However, I would always recommend to study a little bit of music theory so it's going to be so much easier to memorize pieces and to understand pieces. During the last like 10-15 minutes, I was starting to get ready for the performance. <laughs> now I did this challenge so many times, I found like kind of a routine that I know, okay, in the last 10 to 20 minutes, I need to focus on preparing how I want to start the piece, where are the difficult parts where I really need to pay more attention on. And actually it's kind of similar to preparing for a real performance, just that it's not in this short time. I would like take the last days or a whole week before the, the concert, before I go on stage to do these things, to really concentrate on specific parts and to think of how do I want to start the piece, how do I breathe and stuff like this. But now I, I only had like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs>
was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next videos. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.